There's freedom of time, money, purpose, and energy. The things that entrepreneurs fight for. I was raised by entrepreneurs. My parents had their own business. You treat everything like it's your own. It was their own. As an entrepreneur, you are going to be the one who cares about it the most. You choose to pursue something that you think will make you a better person. And if that's not motivating enough, I don't know what is. At what point did you realize you were onto something even bigger than you could have ever imagined? I didn't know back then that the Macintosh was going to be what it turned out to be. And there was this incredible feeling of a groundswell. There are billionaires sitting cross-legged in the aisles. Every seat is taken. I just started talking, and then afterward, everybody stood and started cheering. That was a moment that I knew I could do this. The very first event was hosted by none other than the Dalai Lama. I didn't have any connections to the Dalai Lama, <laughs> but I, again, I had a vision which I was unequivocally committed to, and I found when you make a big declarative commitment, it's incredible the amount of people that will come out of the woodwork to support you. What were some of your early challenges, and how did you overcome them? So with Candy, we've never been in food, we've never been in retail, we've never been in e-commerce, we were really making it up every single day. <laughs> Hair was my passion, and it was in the middle of a recession when I had this idea and I wanted to just blowouts. That's all I want to do. And we were scared that nobody was going to come. We didn't know. It was, it was a big risk. Business is really hard. And I've had a lot of personal and professional failures. At times being presented with devastating challenges. Becoming very comfortable with discomfort with being uncomfortable. And I just started crying. And I remember thinking, like, this is the time I have to just give this up and really making that choice. It just comes down to making a choice because we're entirely accountable. There's no one else accountable for what I'm doing at this moment or what you're doing. It's you. Out of one of your darkest moments came immense clarity around your purpose. Even the down things and even the things that were really challenging, they make you who you are today. Our happiness is sourced from who we're being and who we're being in this moment. Living in a way that excites you. Living in a way that you feel like you get out of bed in the morning with a purpose. Projects and people that are doing amazing things in the world. You could feel it in the air that like we were onto something. This is easily the best time in history to make a difference. We knew that we were changing the world. You know, I hope people learn how powerful they are and that they are in charge of their life. I feel very illuminated right now, I just want to say. Yeah, I don't know if it's the lights or me or you.